Hi there, it's Roseanne here from Country Chic Paint. In this video, I'd like to show you a great distressing technique for your furniture, in which we're going to be using a three color layered distressing technique. So make sure to stay tuned. In this video, we're going to be using the following supplies. We have some lint-free rags, a brush, and then three paint colors. We have cranberry sauce, fresh mustard, and bliss. So in preparation for this demonstration, I already painted this little picture frame in cranberry sauce. And now we're going to apply our second coat of paint, fresh mustard. So just to show you, this is kind of the look we're trying to create as our final product. Since I'm going to distress the paint, I'm not worried about getting absolutely perfect coverage. So instead of letting the paint fully dry, I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes before I'll start distressing it with a damp cloth. So now that we've waited a couple of minutes, I'm going to be using a damp cloth to distress this frame. You'll want to make sure that the cloth that you're using is damp and not dripping wet. Simply wipe away as much of the paint as you want. This is your project and you can distress it as much or as little as you'd like. Okay, so now that we've done this part, I'm going to wait a little bit until it's dry and then we're going to go over it with a coat of bliss. Okay, so now that our frame is dry, I'm going to use a bit of bliss to give it a final coat. And after we've painted it, we're going to let it dry for a bit and then we're gonna wet the stress it again. Again, I'm not looking for perfect coverage as I'll be distressing it anyway. All right, so our frame has now dried. It's been about 30 minutes or so since we painted it with Bliss. So we're gonna use a damp cloth and distress it. Since this is a three color distressing, we're gonna reveal some of the fresh mustard as well as some of the cranberry sauce underneath. When doing large projects, you'll notice that you need to rinse your cloth or switch to a clean cloth after a while, as your cloth will start to collect paint. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Of course, you can keep on distressing as much or as little as you would like. And you can leave it like this, or you can apply wax to it, either the natural wax or antiquing wax or one of our other colors. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos. And if you wanna learn more about Country Chic Paint, visit our website, countrychicpaint.com, or simply click the link below. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave us a comment on this video and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting.